Hi, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Um, as you can see by the title, this is a download. This is going to be a message for those who feel like they resonate and are drawn to this video. So if you are drawn to watch this video and this reading, this reading is for you, okay? So the download that I got is that someone's divine counterpart is acting snooty, snobby, stuck up, and is acting like you need them more than they need you, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have the devil card, which is also the sign of Capricorn. So you could be definitely dealing with a Capricorn at this time. Let's go ahead and see why this person's acting like this. This also does feel like a no contact situation for a lot of you. It does not have to be, but it could be a no contact situation as well, okay? Let's see what's going on here. And feel free and feel free to check out the links below, okay? Thank you so much. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, one of you or both of you could have got a promotion or is doing pretty well in life, like establishing yourself, working on your own thing, or um, just things are going pretty well for the most part for someone here or for both of you. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. I also feel like this person's in their ego is what I'm hearing. This person could be acting quite vain. So like if you see their social media, um, on their social media, there could be a lot of pictures of them with other people or flashing their wealth or flashing their money, um, their body, uh, other people. Okay, if your divine counterpart is taken. Um, this person also could be on social media. I'm seeing here kind of flashing, um, showing off. So someone here is just acting very um, like stuck up is what I'm getting. So for those who need this message, let's just see what spirit has to say. Wow, look at this combination. Wow. Ten of swords and the ten of cups reversed. <coughs> ten of swords upright. Ten of Cups reversed. Okay. That's packing a punch. So this person, this person is, is someone here in this equation is like access denied. So someone could have walked away. Someone could have blocked someone. And then I feel like someone else could be in this energy of feeling really hurt, um, betrayed, Kind of revengeful. This does feel kind of revengeful to me. To be honest with you. This could be soulmate or twin flame. Not just soulmate for this. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Like what I'm getting from a spirit is that this person. Somebody here could be actually. Um, goes both ways. Could be actually blocking communication or blocking messages on purpose like trying to ignore on purpose okay three of cups but to you it's three of cups reverse to me it's upright so it's upright to me three of cups upright wow eight of swords upright justice reverse ten of cups reversed Wow, these cards are packing a punch. This person could be taken, okay? Someone in this equation could be taken. This is coming across as divine masculine energy to me, to be honest with you. It doesn't have to be, but it is coming across like divine masculine. So um, if that's what you're watching for, then that's your that's your confirmation. Okay. Yeah, that is that is your that is your confirmation because um that's what i'm feeling okay that's what i'm feeling two of pentacles the star and the page of pentacles okay let's move this up here wow People could also know about you or like um, in this equation, like other people on the outside know about you or like, you know, like they know about you or like they know about him or her. 
people in your circle, people in their circle are kind of conversing um, about this situation, especially if you are, are in the same city or town or work similar places or know similar people, like the same people. Nine of Wands. I'm getting especially if you guys work together or you, you both were in a work setting before, either like, you know, university or just work in general. Um, like, you know, there's something where people are around and they're kind of just, I feel, talking a lot about you two. You know, this, this, this ending or this rejection with the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Cups reverse. So as we know, the number 10 speaks to completion so i do feel like people are seeing you two as over like people on the outside are seeing you two as over you and your you and your divine counterpart people are seeing this from the outside looking in i don't know i don't know why that's coming across in the reading so strongly but it does feel like people on the outside looking in are assuming that you both are done you know, that's that's definitely how it's coming across to me. Like people on the outside are like, oh, you know, you know, snickle, 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 you know, gossip, gossip, gossip. Like he said, she said, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Ten of swords. Ooh, you know, that kind of vibe. So um, for sure, if you had if you had a suspicion, if you had a suspicion that people are talking um, in like like the real world, you know, your real life, um, and they know this person or they know of you, like their people, like their people. Look at that. The tower. Look at that. Yeah, people are talking. People are shocked. Okay. People are shocked about this. Um, I'm even hearing someone's mother or parents, like this could be your your DM's parents, are shocked that you walked away, or they're shocked that they're their um child did this to you okay like if 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 you know that their family knew about you i really feel like they're like wow like this is really really messed up like they're they're kind of disappointed so if there was if there was cheating involved what i'm getting is well, i'm also hearing a daughter like if there was cheating involved people in this family or their their family i feel are talking about um the cheating, if there was cheating, if this did happen, like, they're talking about it, okay, they're like, wow, that's so crazy, like, can you believe they're not together, so I really feel like people around you, um, and your, and your <laughs> divine counterpart cannot believe, can't believe that you guys are not together, like, they're, they're really shocked, they're like, wow, like, they can't believe that, you know, this is over, is what I'm getting, I'm actually hearing somebody say, I can't believe, I can't believe that this is over. I can't believe that this is over. So I don't know who, who's saying that, who that's for, but that's just another confirmation for you, okay? Um, Ten of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Look at that combo. That is like a dagger in the heart, man. And the Six of Cups. Exactly. You both could have known each other from childhood or a long time. Like there's history there. You and your divine counterpart have been have known each other for at least a couple months plus. You know, this is not a, a recent thing for majority of you. Like there's history here. I also take the six of cups as a history card. There's history between you and this person. So you guys know each other's quirks, you know, what ticks you off, what pisses you off. Like this person knows about it. Make no mistake mistake about it this person knows how to piss you off and this person knows what makes you happy what makes you sad um this person knows there's a lot of baggage so what's interesting to me with this reading is that there's ten of swords up here and there's ten of wands down here ten of ten of swords ten of wands that's three tens in a row ten 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 so this is really symbolizing an ending Okay, this to me is like final. That feels very final to me. Let's pull, some, at least for now, okay? Let's pull some Romance Angel and see what's going on with this message for this reading for those who need this. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on here.
past life relationship. Are you kidding? That's crazy. Okay. So like I said, with the six of cups, there's a lot of history may not, may, it may not, it may not just be this lifetime. Okay. This could be different, different lifetimes. Religious factors are at play and give your relationship a chance. So how is your person feeling about you right now? How is your person feeling about you right now? How is this person feeling about you right now? How is this person feeling about you right now? How is this person feeling about you? The tower. So this person, I feel, believes that you're pissed off with them. This person, this person definitely believes that you're pissed off. Three of Cups, okay? You're pissed off over a third party or pissed off over other interference. Whether it's family, work, the whole nine yards, right? Like this person, this person's feeling like they've lost you. This person feels like they lost you. So many messages in this reading. Wow, there's so many different storylines and possibilities I'm seeing here. So just kind of just latch on to the one that resonates with you, okay? Because I'm seeing so many things here. Yeah, this person wants to rush in, but I feel like they're blocked. Their their throat chakra is blocked, their heart chakra is blocked. A lot of blockage, a lot of self-doubt, like self-negative talk. This could be a person who's very negative to themselves and other people. Like right now, your divine counterpart could be quite negative in their their energy or how they're thinking about themselves, how they see the world. The star reverse, six of cups upright, the empress reverse, and the six of pentacles reverse, right? Divine feminine in reverse, so they definitely feel like the divine feminine has turned their back, okay, has turned their back on the situation and is not going to return. So if this person lost you or you feel like, you know, you've left this person, um, I'm hearing the phrase shell shocked, okay, I'm hearing the phrase shell shocked, five of wands, there could have been a lot of conflict, a lot of drama, yeah, I feel like any way you spin it, there's a lot of people, right? Like any way you spin it, there was too many things going on at once that caused this tower. You know, there's a culmination of things that caused the tower. It wasn't just one thing. Okay, it, it, it wasn't just one thing. Is what I'm getting here. It, it wasn't just one thing. Page of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Twin Flame. Twin Flame Confirmation. Eight of Swords. Two of Cups Soulmate. So there's the confirmation. This, this could either be... Yeah, this could definitely either be a soulmate or a twin flame, okay? Either a soulmate or a twin flame. Either a soulmate or a twin flame. Work on your partnership. You have known each other before. Religious factors. Okay, let's get three more here. Three more. Three more here. Ten of Pentacles. So someone here is going to be very abundant. Regardless of what happens, I feel like someone is laying down the foundation to have abundance. Retirement, security, um, good health, you know, great friends and family members around them, you know, happy moments, healthy food, that kind of vibe. Like, you know, overall well-being. So if this is you, this is symbolizing what you're going to have, what you're working on, what you're laying down the, the seeds to, to plant in order for these things to grow and manifest, okay? Like someone here is planting, I see here is planting the seeds for this, 
you know, not needing any help, just doing it themselves, planting these seeds for themselves. Ten of, Ten of Pentacles, okay? Let's get two more here. The devil. Yeah. So don't let so don't let the devil eat up your crops, right? Don't let the devil and and the wasp and the bugs pollute this. So this feels like the divine feminine, the message for you divine feminine is don't let these these devilish antics pollute what you're building even if it's your divine counterparts thinking or negativity with the eight of swords and the tower okay because i do feel like whatever whatever this energy is like whatever your divine counterparts energy is like i said the channeling i got was it's just negative right so this is saying be careful protect your crops protect the seeds you planted for a, a rainy day okay the winter like this is the energy of protect and work hard protect ferociously what you love okay if there's people in their camp who are attacking your family or your friends or even attacking you it's saying you know quickly quickly get out of that okay gain back stability and clarity okay if people are gossiping let them talk it doesn't matter but this is saying focus on your own well-being okay the viewer you the viewer i feel like telling you focus on your own well-being okay one more please judgment reverse so i definitely feel here like there's a lot of confusion a lot of arguing but um i feel like for a lot of you for majority of you this 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 tower has already fallen so all you need to focus on is getting yourself unstuck from this negativity with the devil okay this is like kind of like a, a, a two for one a two for one package deal the devil and the eight of swords feels like this is the same energy okay whatever the devil is doing whatever the tower has caused is causing chaos so it's saying the judgment is off like things are off it's time to get the the balance back into perspective so this person still miss energy what you need to realize is this is a choice okay a person being the devil energy is a choice and what you need to do is focus on your own stability. This also can indicate reconnecting back with friends. I feel for those who resonate with that message, this feels like reconnecting back with family and friends who do support you, who do love you, and kind of just basically ignoring this, right? All right, that's the message I have. So thank you for watching. I hope that gave you some kind of confirmation. Please feel free to subscribe. Check out the links below and thumbs up. I will see you on my next video. Bye.